Hey, Julie Burke here. Happy Monday. How is everyone doing? I'm going to give it a minute. Facebook's out grabbing all of you. I'm actually sitting in a Starbucks parking lot. Um, if you do follow me, you know that this is my home away from home. <laughs> hey, we have a home-based business, so we need to like disappear every now and then from our home, right? Let me know if you're popping in. Um, hey, Kelly, how are you? Let me know um, if you could hear me okay, because like I said, I'm sitting in a Starbucks parking lot. And I'm about to head in, but I wanted to jump on uh, real quick and talk about this because um, probably p because it's something I'm going through and and sometimes we just need to talk through our journey um, together, right? Because that's what it's about. It's not about being in competition with, with each other. It's about being on the journey together um, because we're entrepreneurs. And, and so, um, hey guys. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Debbie. Who else is on here? Hey, Tiffany. Who else do I have? Amanda, Tracy. Okay, guys. So uh, you guys can hear me okay? Thumbs up. We're all good because I'm going to be talking to you, um, you know, on how to find your, your purpose and, and passion in three steps. And again, this is something I'm kind of going through myself. Uh, those of you that do know me um, know my background, but if you are new to uh, Julie Burke and my Create Success with Julie brand, I want you to drop me a one if you're new to my um, community here so I can send you a gift and also give you a shout out, okay? Um, so, you know, this past year has been really, really um, crazy. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I've been in network marketing actually just recently switched network marketing companies um, uh, due, due to a, an unforeseen um, issue I had with my upline, but it's all good, you know, not crying wolf, moving on, moving past it. And um, I also started a, my own training company uh, last year, kind of by accident. Somebody said, hey, do you coach? And I'm like, cool, I can do that. You know, um, I've been in network marketing. I feel comfortable with it. I, I I also started learning a lot about online marketing. I built majority of my network marketing through utilizing social media. And so um, definitely felt comfortable with that. So I started my coaching business. Then I started diving into developing uh, digital products to, you know, really just package my knowledge and then get it out there, right? I've, I have three courses now. I'm working on a fourth. But oftentimes what happens is... Um, when you're like so like in your business and into the, you know, just, I don't know how to explain it, but you could, you almost, when you were taking action so much and you got your, your attention is like divided. Okay. You're not really like kind of focused on the one task at hand. You can sometimes lose, um, desire or you could sometimes feel like your, your passion is, is shifting. Okay. And, and you could sometimes feel like um, your your focus is shifting as well, okay? And so I, I guess my question for you is, do you ever feel lost or as if something is missing in your life, right? Maybe you want to make a bigger difference. Maybe you're in network marketing because you feel like that's making a bigger difference. Maybe you joined network marketing because it was your first taste of entrepreneurship. But now being in network marketing, and this was me, being in network marketing for a couple years and having success there, I felt like I wanted something more. Like I felt like I was meant for more. And I didn't quite understand what that maybe was at, at the time um, until I actually started taking daily steps and daily action and starting my own, you know, fan page and growing my own fan base. And then through, you know, that I learned from all of you or I learned from other entrepreneurs what they wanted to hear you know, from me more. Right. And so again, I hang with me here cause I'm, I'm going to, I'll dive into what I'm talking about. I just, I got to give you a little bit of the backstory. So many of us walk through life and we're feeling numb and maybe desperate for a deeper connection in really figuring out like what our purpose is. Uh, but you're not sure how to get there. I'll be honest. Like when I first started with the whole network marketing, uh, training, I was like, well, I don't really want to be doing videos every day about overcoming objections and, 
closing a sale and recruiting and all that. And, and I thought that that's what I needed to do. Um, however, um, and I think that this is why a majority of my following is this way. A majority of my following is actually not entry level. It's actually those looking to raise the bar and bring their, their business to the next level. Or maybe they are leaders in certain companies. They're, no, they're now looking to build a brand, right? Because you got to make sure that you're, you're, you got to make sure you make your mess, your message, and that your message is congruent with the way that you want your business to go. You're not just chasing money, okay? I call it chasing money. And I even, I'm guilty, you guys. Like, I am guilty of being there. I'm guilty also of just doing something because the money was good or because I felt like that is what people wanted to hear from me, okay? Um, so the two greatest days of your life will be the day you're born and the day that you figure out your purpose. And I feel a lot of people struggle with this. Earlier I put on my PM page, you know, who knows their purpose or who's having a tough time trying to figure out their purpose. And the the response was every day. I mean, people, a lot of people are like every day, they, they can't figure out their, their purpose, right? So we can't think our way into life's um, passion and purpose. We have to do... You have to do it in your way. You can't follow somebody else because now, you know, we're living in a world of technology and we're on social media and we're watching what everyone else is doing. Okay. You got to like knock off the noise because I, again, am guilty of this. I, I will watch someone doing something a certain way and I'm like, that's the way I should be doing it or that's the way I should be saying it. And that's not necessarily true. That is not how you attract the right person to you. So this means taking steps towards what you want and removing those things in your life that you don't want, okay? So this is kind of where the stage I'm at right now is getting really clear on the, the next steps in my career and my life. And that's why I'm, I'm doing this video today because I know a lot of people struggle with this. Um, so I'm kind of going to walk you through kind of my the steps I'm taking um, to help me figure this out. You guys, if this is resonating with you, drop me a two, okay? Just let me know it's that what I'm saying right now is in fact resonating with you. Okay. So we're all on the same page. Um, so sometimes it is taking that step back and foregoing the money to really figure out what your greater, greater purpose is. So you could be in alignment and fulfillment within your life. And that's where I'm at right now. Okay. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And I'm trying to listen more to my intuition and my gut than anything. So that's what I'm going to impress upon you is to, you know, also shelf what you feel like you should be doing or what others want you to do and start listening to your gut and your intuition. So here's the three steps on how to, to really figure out your purpose and your passion and, and live in alignment with what it is that you're meant to do. Um, you know, it's funny because these things have been happening or obstacles have been hap happening in my life recently. And, um, at, at the time, you know, I might cry or get upset or feel a certain way, but now like I take a look back and I'm like, no, this was God's greater plan. It's, it, it is like you're, you know, that's at least what my belief is, whether you believe in the universe or whatever it is that you believe in. Um, I believe that God has a greater plan, um, for all of us. And so what number one is, um, get more into action. Okay. So you cannot think your way into to finding your life's purpose. You actually um, have to step in and, and just do it, okay? And so the more that we act, the more that we actually get clear on things. Like I said, since last July when I started this, this fan page, this community, I feel like my life has gone into fast forward, okay? I'm going to be totally honest. Um, and I was very hesitant in the beginning so instead of overthinking it, which I've done before, I then decided, you know, because we can, we can all, can we like not just beat ourselves to death overthinking stuff? Um, will this work? Uh, you ask yourself, um, should I try this? Should I be doing it this way? What if um, they don't like it? What if I don't like it? What if I don't make money at it? Like we could ask ourselves all these questions. So just start taking steps towards your goals and start trying new things that's what's so key. Try new things. And this will help you get out of your own way. Um, I'm telling you, I struggled with this in the beginning to find out, to try and figure out what my purpose was. And, and I'm still kind of, 
I feel like I've had a lot of success this past year, but now it's the next chapter of my life. So even moving forward, because anytime you guys up level, um, one of the greatest books you can go off and read is called, and I'm probably going to go read it again and again and again, because someone said you could read the same book six times in a row and get a different view every single time instead of going to read six different books. Okay. Like, so I found a book, it's called The Big Leap. It's by Gay Hendricks, and it was one of the greatest books I've ever read. And I've read a lot of books, and um, it's talking about the four quadrant or the four zones in your life, leading up to your zone of genius, and um, really living in your zone of genius is is where you're really living, and that's where you ultimately want to get to. Okay, it's it's just you guys. It's an awesome book. Go, I highly recommend. Jump on Amazon. Not now when I'm done and go get it. Okay. You will not be disappointed. I promise. So, um, I struggled in the beginning to find out what my purpose was. And this cycle only created that, that deeper lack of, um, clarity once I actually started taking action. So through doing something is the only way to see if you truly like it. Okay. Right. Um, I, Hello, going on a roller coaster. I flipping hate it. I hate heights. I'm scared of heights. I don't like going on roller coasters, but the only way I knew that is by actually going on a freaking roller coaster, right? Um, so that just gives you a little example. So the experience is the reward. Clarity comes through the process of exploring. So I, right there, go explore, go take action, go figure it out if you are not totally in fulfillment and happy with what you're doing. Okay, number two, drop your head to your heart. Okay, so going back to the whole chasing money thing, right? Stop chasing money and figure out truly what your heart is telling you. Your heart is the best tool to access your true purpose and your true passion. And ask yourself, what do you love to do, right? Um, I love entrepreneurship. I've been in entrepreneurship for the last five years. I'm not like the expert of entrepreneurship. I'm constantly learning as we all are. So that was one of my passions. This is why I started this uh, channel, this Facebook uh, page here. And um, another passion I have is health and fitness, okay? So I could decide if I wanna go start a health and fitness page, I could go do that too because I'm passionate about speaking about healthy stuff, right? But we're only human, right? Like uh, doing recipes, healthy, you know, just healthy, clean living. So you get, you get the drift, right? Uh, so just start taking those steps toward doing what you love. And when you're inspired and connected to your happy self, inspiration floods your heart and soul, right? Am I correct? Is any, right? Drop me a three if you've ever been inspired or you felt like you, you did, you know, you do have passion or maybe you have passion and you want to bring it to life, but you don't know how to monetize off of it, right? Like you don't know how to bring it to life. You don't know how you'd be able to actually build that business around that passion. Um, monetizing is different than chasing money. Okay. I want to be very, very clear on this because, um, it's okay. It's definitely okay to give your time to somebody and in return, get paid money. If you're helping another human being. Okay. It's all part of the process. And so when you lead from your heart, you are naturally more joyful and motivated to explore. And by doing what you love, um, you're going to be inspired and gain insight into what brings you the most joy. And what do I always say? What's my motto? Live your life in joy, purpose, and freedom. Those are the three things that I strive for others, okay, and for myself. All right. Number three, break up with the one. <laughs> All right. So many of us struggle because we try to find the one thing that we are meant to do. Like we think like there's just this one divine, you know, thing that we're great at. Um, but trying to find only the one thing is the reason why we might feel like something's missing, right? Because we're only focused on the one. So the notion that we have only one thing that we are meant to do, um, you know, really limits us on fulfilling the greater purpose or the greatness within all of us. Cause I think like we have several things within us. It's not just this one thing. Um, so take me for example, you know, I have six different job titles, six people be like, Oh my God, my head will spin. Right. So I, a network marketer. Okay. I'm an affiliate marketer. I'm a speaker. I'm a teacher. I'm a mentor. I'm a course creator, six things. And each thing has brought me joy at, at, at some stage in my life. It has brought me joy. 
but none of them are really my purpose. They are my passions. You guys understand that difference? So start getting in touch with your passions and start exploring your passion, which will then ultimately lead you to your main purpose. Okay, it doesn't mean that you have to focus on like this one purpose. It could be many different things that you enjoy to do. But maybe there's something you're going to find. Maybe network marketing, like I said, it was a stepping stone for you. But what you really love to do is help people gain more confidence. Right? You could actually build this entire coaching business around being a confidence coach if that's what you are you feel inspired to do and that's how you can monetize. You could create a whole, you know, funnel of things around that. Right? That's a that's a lie for a different day. But let go of thinking that there's only one main purpose for you and embrace the idea that, you know, our purpose in life is to love life fully by putting um, putting yourself into your life. Right? And stop letting fear hold you back. And you know, this means that we jump in, we try new things, we stop resisting the unknown because let me tell you that held me up for months. And we fully engage with what is happening right here, where we are now, okay? Does this make sense, you guys? Does this make sense, these three steps? So that feeling that something is missing goes away when you lead a passion-filled life. And the need to seek our uh, passion, you know, the need to seek our purpose comes from a lack of passion comes from the lack of trying to figure this out what our passion is. So when you don't feel connected to your life, you lack purpose and passion, okay? That's why you guys are feeling stuck. That's why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. So passion plus daily action is what will equal equal a purposeful life. I'm telling you that right now. So through this journey in the last year, I've, I've realized a lot of things. I realized that even though I do these trainings, and yes, I've been in network marketing, that that my greater purpose I, I, I feel now doing this for the past year is actually helping people figure out their greatest purpose, how to strategize around it, and how to bring it to life. How to you know really get them into thinking bigger and moving them past the stage that they're at um, right now. Maybe they're the, in the inception of um, the beginning of wanting to bring their business online, whatever it is. But that's kind of the, the, I'm just giving you my example. Like by doing this and taking action daily and working with people and, and building this audience and figuring out what I like and what I don't like, I'm now finding out what my greater, greater purpose is, okay? So consider that the real purpose of anyone's life is to be fully involved in living. Try to be present for the journey and fully embrace it. And soon you'll be seriously oozing <laughs> with a passion and you're going to find out how to live that purposeful life, okay? And um, you know what? Just really in, enjoy the journey into your own amazing life. And you guys, if this was helpful, um, please share it. And uh, sharing is caring. And I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there, I know there is, that just feel really just s stuck in their life mission, stuck about their purpose, stuck on the next steps of their life. I know because I lived it. I lived it I've, I've hit several milestones through this past year um, and now I'm at another one because why? Because I'm just looking to go to the next level and yet um, I'm, I'm going through this exercise. So that's why I did this, this live for you today so then you can answer these questions for yourself, okay? So as always, you guys be blessed and I look forward to seeing you on the next training and if you have any um, sort of comments, please leave them below the video and... Um, or reach out to me personally and I'll be happy to answer them, okay? Till next time, you guys, take care. I'll see y'all real soon. I'm gonna go get coffee. Yes, it's almost three o'clock and I'm going to get coffee. So I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.